Yo guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate a reverb plugin to you. And in the meantime, we will talk about the ambiences, how important they are for our tracks. And also we will give this beautiful reverb plugin to the five people. It's gonna be 100% discount code. All you gotta do is just like and comment this video. And I'm gonna draw the winners in this Sunday on the live feedback stream. So if you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. So I was working on a drop idea. It's pretty, you know, empty, pretty basic, just an idea. But still, I like to ask you um, what is missing in this drop. Let me play it for you first. So yeah, you heard the drop guys and the missing thing is obviously the ambience, right? Everything is so dry, there is no room feeling. You don't understand where the instruments are staying. Is it staying in a big room or a small room or in a concert hall? Where the sounds are playing from? That's the question. So without a reverb, without a proper reverb, your tracks is gonna sound so much dual. Even though you have tons of instruments, tons of sounds, it's gonna sound empty. So I was using the reach. Uh, for a while, um, like in the early versions, the developer Oscar, thanks to him, sent me a version. Um, so since then, I'm using this beautiful plugin. And here I'm shooting the video. I'm not getting paid. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just shooting this video to demonstrate this beautiful plugin to you and also give five free copy. All you gotta do is just comment and like to the video. So guys, for example, I have a texture uh, loop like that. Like without reverb, it sounds like this. So it's kind of like a gibberish sound that you put to the background. But without reverb, it's too dry, it's so sharp. And we cannot use it uh, like this, you know. It's, it's gonna be so obvious and it's gonna take our attention from the track to the sound itself. We need to make the sound a little bit blurry, okay? And to get that, we just need a reverb. So without reverb, it sounds like that. Let's put some reverb. So the beautiful of this reverb, it's just not a reverb plugin. It has a degrade module, flanger, chorus, and a distortion module. And yeah, as you see, now if I mute this sound, you will miss it because it's like covering so much space in the mix. That's perfect. So this is one way to use reverb. You can have a texture sound. It doesn't need to be serum. It can be a Foley recording. It can be anything else, you know, anything, something rhythmical, something that fits to the track. Just put it some reverb and put it some effects and you know, it's done. It's gonna add a depth and an atmosphere feeling for your track. So this, but this is just a little example of using a proper reverb in the track. I think the most important thing is to drop lead, right? So I have a lead like that. So as you see, I have a gap in my melody, like maybe this is a question, but in the answer section, I have nothing. At least I have horn and some step fills. But in the end, there is a huge gap. Maybe we can take some advantage of our beautiful reach to fill this gap. Um, I'm gonna load the reach in the channel. So first of all, I like to just use this reverb as a regular reverb plugin. I'm not gonna touch any of the effects, you know, the degrade, flanger, chorus, and distortion. Let's just give some ambience, some atmosphere to the sound. <laughs> So 
So it's already very nice. And the developer told me like there are, I think, four or more different reverb modules working in the background. That's why this reverb has a lush sound, you know. So I usually use it like that. The diffusion makes it more blurry. Maybe I can put it somewhere around here. And when you click the reverb uh, section in here, you will see a, and also a delay module. So I don't want any delay in the reverb. I just like to use it like that. And in here, this is like um, like the dry wet knob of just for the uh, reverb module. Just like that, for example, this is the distortion module and this is how much distortion you want to apply to the sound. But we will talk about it later. So I'm going to make my reverb 100% wet. And in here, this is also like the dry wet knob of the whole plugin. You know, after you put every effect to, to the sound, this is the dry wet knob. In the zero, it's going to be just dry sound. In 100%, it's going to be containing all of the effects, all of the wet sound making in this plugin. So the signal chain might look confusing at first, but like after a couple of hours, you will get used to it. At least for me, it was like that. I usually use the reverb like 20, 25%, nothing, not more. And this is like the wet gain you know the gain of whole plugin so if you want so if you want more reverb currently we don't have any other effects we just have the reverb activated so if i want more reverb i can just tweak this knob so that's very straightforward and let's hear how it's gonna sound now Okay, for me, this is a perfect reverb. I'm gonna just leave it like that because, you know, usually when I have you know, a sound design with the reverb, when I make ear candies with the reverb, I usually have a dedicated real reverb, like the main reverb of the, for the sound. And then I'm getting another reverb just for the effect, just for the ear candy. Let's do that. The first one is gonna be the ear candy. The second one is the main reverb. So we can do something like that. Let's put the reverb to the maximum. Maybe no delay again. If you want, you can tweak the, you know, the lows and the highs. You can color the reverb, but I'm not gonna touch it. And then maybe in the gaps, we can try this degrade effect. So let's try how it's gonna sound. I'm very enjoying this effect, this degrade effect, this amount, you know, it's something like a beat crusher. By the way, there's another um, mods for this degrade mod as well, but let's keep it on the hold. Maybe automate this knob a little bit and like, I can just turn it on in the middle like that. So we have very interesting effect right now. Um, maybe we can have a little bit flanger. Let's see how it's gonna sound with everything. Okay, let's keep the flanger on. What about distortion? And we have the distortion modules. Let's try hard. It's already sounds so sick, right? And we can just change the order of the effects. So currently the distortion is applying everything. If you want, you can put the distortion at first. Then you will just put reverb to the distorted sound. You know, if I hope it makes sense. But let's keep it in the end. I like how distortion affects the reverb in this case. And maybe I can do something like that. Um, let's put the mix to the zero, then there, there will be no effect. And now I'm gonna automate the wet knob and I'm gonna just fill the gaps like that. Yeah, something like that. Let's see how it's gonna sound.
Okay, it's a little bit too much. Let's lower the wet amount a little bit. And maybe in the second part, um, we can do some different stuff with the degrade amount. Maybe this time it can be something like that. I don't know how it's gonna sound. Sounds very nice. So maybe, I don't know if it's gonna be too much overkill, but maybe we can always leave the plugin wetness like 5%. Why not? We would have the effects always on at least 5%. I like it guys. I love this effect. It fits perfectly. Now I'm gonna go back to the main reverb, like the second plugin I have in the ch same channel. And I'm just gonna use the ducking mode in here. So which is basically the sidechain. Um, if you have the ducking on, let me turn off the first one. If you turn on the ducking mode, when there's melody is playing, it's gonna duck the reverb. And when there's no melody, the reverb is gonna pop out. <laughs> So the previous version, it wasn't working this much perfectly, but today I just downloaded, updated the latest version and the ducking feature is perfect now. So let's check the ducking, maybe like 20% is enough. It's gonna give us much more cleaner sound. And by the way, if, if you like, as I said, in the master, we can give a little bit more volume to the reverb. Just in the reverb, it's not going to affect the dry signal. Yeah, guys, I'm very enjoying it. So let's hear it in the context. It's perfect, I love it. Maybe we can quickly put some reverb to other sounds as well. You know, usually, like every producer have a different approach on this one, I agree. But for me, I usually like to use the same reverb. Like in my whole project, I probably use not more than two different reverbs. Maybe one reverb is for, especially for vocals, maybe two reverb for vocals, that's okay. But like for my all of the synths, I usually put same reverb, even similar presets, so they sound like they are playing inside of the same ambience, same room. That I think for me that's so important to glue your sounds with reverb, using reverb. So I'm gonna just go to my general preset in here, which just sounds like that. pretty straightforward just a uh, you know general regular reverb that you can use all of your sounds it doesn't contain any of effects in here it just have the reverb function on and yeah that's it it also has the pre-delay in here so it's like the reverb is starting just a little bit late so you can always tweak this And we can turn it off like that. If you turn it off, then you can just put the milliseconds in here instead of the timings. And the ducking, so probably no need to be ducked, but let's put 10% to have, have a little bit cleaner sound. So one of the good features of this reverb, it has an internal EQ. 
So it's pre or post. Like if you like, you can just put low cuts, like high pass, and maybe clean the sound a little bit. So it's totally up to you. This plugin is not just a reverb, as you see. It's like a whole sound design plugin. That's why I'm just hooked to this plugin. Is you aware? Like this pre-post, again, only affecting the wet signal, not touching to the dry signal. So usually in order to EQ our wet signal, like our reverb signal, we need to have a sand channel or we need to use a patcher. But in this plugin, it's internally in here. And that's also a time saver. saver. And now let's put some reverb to this horn. Again, I'm not gonna touch the modulation. So modulation just um, changing the wet signal, like modulate it in time. But in this case, I don't like to have it. So maybe less diffusion. And also this damp knob is like, if you have too much damping, there won't be much high frequencies. So I am like to leave it like that. Time and space, let's leave it in here. So all, so all we need is like maybe again, full reverb, a little bit longer decay. That's it. Sounds perfect. Uh, we can just copy paste the same preset to the steps. Yeah, like that. Okay, this is a little bit overkill. Let's lower the mix. Maybe less decay. Okay, this is better because this sound is very short. I don't want to lose the details of the sound. So less decay, less uh, mix would be enough. But as you see, I'm still ke uh, keeping the same preset, same room, same ambience for all of the sounds. Um, I think, yeah, this is all the sounds I have currently in the track. And we can take a look now how everything sounds. Is it glued enough than before? Let's decide. Yeah, guys, for me, now it sounds full and glued. Like every sound is like coming from the same source, same room, same ambience. And the overall vibe is improved a lot. And especially I love how this effect, you know, how this ear candy of the reverb is uh, coming out. I'm so happy with it. So usually to create this kind of effect, you need like one, two, three, four, five different plugins. And it takes too much time, right? But in Reach, it's all wrapped in just one, one plugin. This is perfect. So yeah, guys, this was a very, very quick demonstration for the Reach. And as I said, we will give five copies of this plugin. So all you got to do is just comment this video, like this video and follow my channel. We will draw the winner since uh, this Sunday in my feedback session. Today, that was it, guys. I hope you can apply the tricks to your own productions as well. See you on the next video. Bye bye.